What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? This has finally arrived and I'm super excited guys. So let me get unboxing. <laughs> So guys, I've been waiting for a very long time for this Cinch gaming controller. It's a custom controller. Um, it's obviously used for eSports as well. So on this side, we've got the Xbox One and then we've got Xbox 360. On this side, we've got the PS4 and then also the PS3. And then at the back, custom features. You have your trigger stops. You've got traditional or adjustable. You have tournament buttons, custom LEDs. Um, custom thumbsticks, the shells, the designs and you can basically customize it how you want it to be. So I decided to get this Cinch Gaming Controller. I do have a scuff. The scuff is also epic but I love um, custom controllers in general. So I thought you know what let me just get my hands on this Cinch Gaming Controller. So let me open it up and show you the big daddy of all daddies. Ugh! okay maybe not that <laughs> inside it says world's first smart controller which will be coming very very soon and then this is um so the difference oh it looks so cool Ooh, i don't want to show you Ooh. so in here the um the difference between this controller as well as the the scuff controller is that this one has adjustable trigger stops which is quite epic and you can locate the holes in the rear of the controller tighten the screw to reduce the pull distance and then obviously loosen the screw to lengthen the pull distance so that's it over there and over there and that's your allen key which which i'll be using and look at that nice welcome pack over there congratulations you are now the owner of a custom cinch gaming controller this is pretty fantastic um, so let me just put the paperwork aside and look at that. So this is the Cinch Gaming Control. It is super, super light actually. When you look at it, it is ridiculously light compared to your normal controller. They obviously removed the rumble packs um, just to add the, the buttons. Because as you can see at the back here, the Cinch Gaming Controller has buttons so we have buttons on either side that's it over there and then you've got another one on this side and then they've got the logo on top there and then these holes are obviously the adjustables as you can see the triggers are set obviously I can adjust those I just got the standard yellow looks very 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 bright um, standard analogs as well standard buttons so on this side is the, the grip. As you can see, the grip is amazing. Um, I think it's really cool because if you do have sweaty palms, I don't have sweaty palms, but if you do, then this is really cool as you can hold it quite firmly and then you the controller will definitely not slip out. So let's go more into detail with the back. As you can see, the Cinch Gaming Controller, they don't have paddles. They have buttons, so we've got the buttons over here. Let me just show you. This is a scuff a PS4 and they've got the paddles over here. So these paddles are basically remapped um, to certain buttons. I love these control freaks to certain buttons. So we've got the right paddle over here, which is for my circle. So I can do nice little crouches over there. And then the X is um, assigned or remapped to the left side so if you can hear over there the left side and that's obviously from x to get those amazing jump shots so this is my scuff 4 ps um, i've just got the normal grip over here and then i've just got only the two paddles you can remap it and all those things but i don't want to get that and then the triggers over here these are your normal triggers so as you can see for the scuff when i press the trigger it goes all the way down 
but then when you look at the cinch gaming which has your customized um customized trigger stops you can see it will only go halfway because that's when by the time you press your gun's already like firing away by the time you press the other one this is already aiming down sight which you know it gives you a better advantage against your opponents obviously with these controllers the controllers don't make you a professional um that i think just comes with practice and that just comes with natural ability when you are gaming so controllers and all these special routers and all these tools and stuff yes it will make you a great um it will give you a great gaming experience but it will definitely not make you a better a call of duty or a first person shooter player this is just a quick unboxing of the cinch gaming controller i hope you guys don't ask me which controller i like best between the scuff and then the cinch gaming controller overall i'm not too worried about who's the best etc etc just i just like controllers and i like modded customized controllers and whatever fits good in my hand will definitely be the one that i'll be using um so guys if you want to order yourself a cinch gaming controller i do have a five percent discount code so if you want to use that i'll put it in the description below as well as i'll do a nice little annotation on the screen so if you want to get a five percent discount on a cinch gaming controller then just use the coupon code slingshot gamer and then you can get five percent off this brilliant controller well guys that comes to the end of my unboxing of the cinch gaming controller let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions about the scuff or you have any questions about the cinch uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will see you guys later peace <laughs>